No, I know, but I said, is he in a hurry? I know. Believe me. Well, don't we all, but, you know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm crazy. Is everybody ready? Is everybody ready? Okay. Call us, uh, Motor Works meeting order. Roll call, please. Mario Todd. Here. Aaron Cook. Here. Bill Bruner. Here. Um, oh, I wrote down the wrong name. Donnie Bryant. Here. Um, Assistant Police Chief Mike Lanning. Here. Fire Chief Johnny Tremaine. Here. EMS Director Bobby Mills. Here. Leslie Votal, Attorney. Here. Mel Davis, Utility Director. Here. Um, the Mayor. Here. And myself. Any announcements? Mayor mm -hmm. none approved the minutes of the previous meeting. So move. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. All good. Committee reports. Uh, Board of Department John Tremaine. Uh, a couple things tonight, Mayor. Uh, just for inf information, we'll be conducting our second quarter live burn this weekend. Uh, I believe it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It'll be flashover. And uh, we'll actually, it'll be our department, and then we'll probably have uh, Aurora, Greendale, Bright, and a few Dillsboro people down with us. So. These burns we have uh, quarterly do benefit the county. So, um, second thing I have uh, from uh, I've acquired some old uh, fire hose from uh, past fire hose test that failed. I just need the board's permission to go ahead and dispose of dispose of that. Most of it, I'm just going to wrap it up and we'll use it to carry and training up and down three story. But it, it didn't pass the pressure test. So I'll take it out of service. Yep. A motion for the board? Let's so move. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. All against? I have. Any more, John? Oh, I got it. Police Department. Uh, just a couple things, Mayor. <clears throat> last, this past Monday, last Monday, we had an air conditioning unit go out in the department. Um, just wanted to bring it to the board attention that uh, I got a hold of Mr. Todd, and he went out and Received three quotes, and uh, the, it was awarded to Dillard's, and they had come in and put a new air conditioning unit in the department. So I just want to bring that to the board's attention. Uh, second thing is, is, two weeks ago we sent uh, six of our guys to the Ohio Police and Fire Games. Um, with that being said, out of the six guys, we ended up bringing home uh, around 16 medals, and we were the only uh, department in Indiana there. So I just wanted to give that shout out to the guys that went and participated. And, uh, Who was the people? It was uh, Josh Martini, myself, I went as well. We did skeet, sporting clays, and trap. Uh, Jeremy Shepard went again this year and won gold in bench press. Wow. He'll be moving on to uh, the Can-Am Games here in July. Uh, then, uh, see, uh, David Schneider and Jacob Jump went. Uh, they did the fishing competition and come in fourth. Um, and then uh, Danny Craig wrestled, and uh, he ended up getting beat in the third round with a broken nose. So <laughs> oh, <laughs> he, couldn't, he couldn't continue. But uh, everybody went over, and it was it was a lot of fun. It was a good PR for our department. We uh, got to network with a lot of other departments around Ohio, Kentucky. <coughs> and like I said, we were the only Indiana department there, and we brought home about 16 medals. So. Very good. Congratulations. Danny, learn anything? Uh, I think he learned to keep his head down. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's this, tough. Uh, as far as that um, air conditioning unit, Your Honor, um, we need to make sure that the board uh, approves that. It was an it was an emergency nature with the high heat that they had, mm -hmm. um, and uh, they did call me and I said, uh, you know, that we could definitely do it under emergency nature, and I thought he would just bring it up to the board today so that they could approve that that purchase they did do it by quote is that correct correct um, entertain a motion i'd so move the purchase of it second second all in favor aye, aye. aye. all against aye, aye. 
Any more? Well, I have more. Thank you. Set of guys, congratulations. Thank you. EMS Bob Mills. Yeah, Mayor. Uh, <coughs> the uh, month of May, we did uh, 125 calls. Also, uh, I mentioned to you about our AEDs, or about AEDs, I'm sorry, our heart monitors being upgraded. And we're going on uh, into the eighth year on our monitors that we have now. And uh, when I talked to the uh, rep to do upgrade on these units, and every two days he's called me back wanting something else, about something else. And we're into $22,000 on a seven, eight year old <coughs> item. And, uh, and I told him, and I don't believe it's going to be worth our while to put this kind of money into three units when I can purchase three units at uh, a little bit more than that. I mean, it's going to be quite a bit more. But I'm going to have $22,000 to buy me one unit plus one or plus a piece of one. So what I'm recommending not to the board is to purchase three new MRX Phillips heart monitors. And that this, there will be no upgrades to this. When they come, we'll get them online. And uh, we should be good for another eight, ten years here in Orangeburg. Because these things only have a shelf life of seven, eight, nine years anyway. Yeah, you know, they get obsolete. And these are obsolete today because the back port of our MRXs has got to be silver. Ours is black. So they've got to go in there and change all the guts in the back of it. And that's how come this price keeps going up and up and up. So I got a quote and they're going to give us two thousand dollars to trade in on the three units. That'd be six thousand dollars. And for the units to come here would be fifty-eight thousand nine ninety-eight seventy-five. One more time, Bobby. Pardon me. How much? Fifty-eight thousand nine hundred ninety-eight dollars seventy-five cents. Okay. Right. You have that money? Uh, as I stated before, I've got two point two million four hundred. Hold on. I got two million two hundred forty-two thousand eight hundred thirteen dollars eighty-nine cents as of the second week of May. That's how much money I have in the and two accounts. More than. Now, taking consideration out of that two million dollars, uh, I'm going to have uh, thirty thousand taken out of it. Actually, they'll be get, I'll be getting a bill on that this week probably because they drop shipped our loading device at Braun today. And uh, I think our new squad is going to be 181,000. Uh, that should be in July, first part of August, hopefully, that can happen. And then with this 58,000, uh, I see us not spending very much more money in the future. Uh, but this MRX monitor is very important to the advancement of our squad. I have a question, Baldy. Um, is that um, the only place yeah. you can get them? The Phillips? Yeah. Well, I can get Zoll. Well, I mean, is that company is that company the only place you can oh, get Phillips, them? Phillips, yes. It's, it's Phillips. Product. It's the only place you can get them. Yeah. So Zoll Source then? Phillips product, Phillips organization. Okay. Matter of fact, the Phillips AADs that we have throughout the city, they're all Phillips brand. You just need to note that somewhere when mm -hmm. we when you on the contract or wherever it is because otherwise you'd have to get two other quotes. You understand that, right? Okay. Well, uh, in the quoting process, up to one hundred fifty thousand dollars, it has to have three quotes. One hundred fifty thousand. Up to one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Anything, you know, because after that it has to be bid. Um, so you can, um, you know, if you can find. Like I said, if, if that's the only place you can get those, then you don't have to go through that procedure. Now, this is a Phillips, it's a Phillips brand, and Phillips is the only one that makes them. It ain't, I so mean, are there other are there other manufacturers of same same units? No. No, no, there, no there's other manufacturers of a, of a heart monitor, yes. There's always one of them. Okay. There's always $40,000 a piece. So do you have existing equipment that this will interface with then, other than uh, a like kind? I mean, do you need the Phillips, I guess is what Les is asking? Phillips is probably one of the cheapest on the market, plus they are uh, 
I mean, they're not a cheap model, but compared to uh, Life Pack 5s, or well, they're probably Life, life Pack 12s today, and the all you're looking at uh, yeah. twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars a piece. So what you need to do is you need to get a quote from those other two uh, manufacturers or or companies or whatever. Um, because you know they'll go with they're going to probably go with whatever you recommend, but you still need to do three. Okay. <laughs> Once you get to close, come back to us. Yeah, you could bring it up the next meeting just I as. Need this order <laughs> Your life may depend on. It. Yeah. How much do you on that, Bobby? And the thing about well, the is, and the reason we got to do the upgrade, you know, we want paramedic level July first. And when we do the 12 lead, we zap this thing on you in your home or in the back of our unit. We're sending this to our ER. Mm -hmm. They're going to be, that's going to determine whether they're going to keep you here or get you shipped out to Cincinnati. And it will save a lot. I don't think there's any way around the quote process, though. If there are other manufacturers. Now, like he said, like Mr. Todd was saying, the things that you have um, now that you won't be replacing, Will that only work with a Phillips brand? Like attached to it in any way or, you know what I mean? Um, any, components? any components that it's attached to that are Phillips, Phillips components? No, this would be one complete unit. This okay. Well, I was just trying to understand. Oh, no, this is taking away our old unit mm -hmm. and putting it, we're replacing the old unit with a new unit. Okay. I think what they're all trying to find out is Phillips or the Zoll or this another company, those units would all work with, with what you've got in your life squad, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Is that what yeah, you want yeah. to know? Yeah, okay. Yeah, Zoll, That's what they're wanting to know. Yeah, so Zoll will work. Okay. I mean, we'll need to get two other quotes. The Zoll work, but you, if you want to pay $40,000. Right. Okay. Um, and I would like to have the Zoll, but I'm just trying to think of between now keep, and then. Keep dreaming, Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so. Yeah, and if you need it, if you need it as soon as possible, I mean, like tomorrow, um, I mean, we can have a work session. It's just a matter of you getting on the phone and calling for the, those other quotes. You know what I mean? Okay. Tell them we have to have them tomorrow. <laughs> we have have tomorrow. We're going online, and I've already told uh, Denver County Hospital that we're probably looking two weeks down the road before we actually get these in and get them on board. Okay. Uh, you know, we Put the and let us know. And we'll we do have to have some people coming down. So if the seventh, you think the seventh would be too late? The next meeting, the seventh. Oh yeah, the seventh. Yeah. Or July. July seventh is our next meeting. Well, I guess it has to be. It has to be. Well, we can make a special meeting. This. Oh, yeah. I don't have a heart attack first. I'll <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll get two other quotes. Thank you. Right, Thanks, Bob. Bob. Well, come, come two weeks. I'm gonna learn CPR, so you'll be okay, <laughs> Bobby. Anything else, Bob? Uh, yes. Uh, on the paramedic. Uh, uh, skill, trade, skill trade adjustment. Uh, I want to know about the uh, these folks get a skill trade adjustment with their going to the next level training. Is that part of the union contract that way, Mayor? Uh, their skill trade, yeah. For well, I know. Not for paramedics. No, not for paramedics. It'd be something that they would have to. Um, the, either the union would have to agree do a memorandum of understanding in between now and the next contract or it be negotiated at the next contract so I mean you can maybe the mayor can check with him talk to me I'm sure the union would go forward I'll never see him not go for giving anybody money yet it would basically be an amendment yeah. you know or a, an understanding that they're you know agreeing of course we would also have to um, <laughs> amend our salary ordinance right, have to go through this board then go back to council What's anything from the board? Mm -mm. I, I, just, you on it. I want to just, um, you want to see, you want to talk to them or you want the mayor to talk to them or? Okay. We can call them and sit down and talk to them. Bob. Yeah, I mean, it's up to you guys. <coughs> but I'm, I'm sure they'd amend it, but uh, the board's got to approve it first. Well, and then council will too. Yeah. And, uh, council has appropriate the money. And they said, well, once you become paramedic, you can talk about it. Mm -hmm. So now they're at that level. Okay. Okay. What, uh, what's the board's pleasure on? How much are we talking about? 50 cent trade adjustment. 50 cents an hour. 
Or chief paramedic. I'll make a motion to and set up a meeting and try to work something out. It's not fair to those that dust that don't pass it and make the same amount of money. Or those that take the course. <coughs> Got a motion on the floor. Any second? Second. All in favor? Aye. All against? I'll get a hold of VA and set you. We'll sit down and talk about it. Let's ask about the council appropriation money. Okay. Okay. And change the hour ordinance. Change the hour. Save lives. That's all I have there. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Bob. New business, Mario Todd, Access Control System for Fire Department. Thank you, Your Honor. In the packet, there's pricing from Larry's Locks for the Access Control System upgrade for the Fire Department. Um, I think Johnny and both Bobby have walked through with the uh, Ken put off with Larry's Lock to show what the needs were down there. It's pretty well spelled out on the paper. There's a typo on page two where it says uh, the estimate item one, that should be estimate item two. Where is that? Page two of two. In the box. <coughs> oh, oh. Sure. Go ahead. So it's the estimate for item two? Correct. Okay. <coughs> Similar upgrades is what was done here at City Hall as far as the door locks, the, the software, computer upgrades. And I guess you had two other doors or something. Yeah, Johnny. me and Bobby had talked to the gentleman, and, and we <coughs> added that option. I'm still not sold on if we need to do that <coughs> additional option or not. So you want to hold off maybe on I item would, two? I would uh, go with the one, and then we'll hold off on the two until we... I, I mean, it's locking two swing doors. I just worry about the guys not grabbing their key fob when they go out on the run in the middle of the night. <laughs> And this would give you the um, access to actually program the fobs yourself on site down there, correct? Oh, I'm, is that part? Of, is that yeah, part of it. Yeah, yeah. you would designate oh, you would designate someone in house there to. Yeah, that'd be great. And Keep then record, it would yeah. then it would be monitored through this office here, as far as who has them. Right. All right. Because we're trying to keep track, we'll eliminate some we didn't know we had. What's the board? Anything for board? Entertain a motion. What would be your recommendation? I'm asking Bobby and John. Well, you know, it costs us $60 to have a key fob just to reprogram. Or even, let's say my key don't work at the gas pump. Right. Just to get it back up on that gas pump, he wants to charge me $60. And I got a few people down there right now. I won't. I told him forget about it. All well, again, time time has value too. Sometimes it takes a couple of three days to yeah. to get a response. I know. I think the long run, the long run here, that would be in our best interest. Now this would be a key, just access to the fire department. This is just for the fire department. Okay. What happens when you leave out there and the doors are open, the overheads? Can they still? Right. That's that's the one thing it's got to is relied on the crews. They got to shut these doors. I know, Bobby, you're carrying drugs now. Yours has got to be secured. We, we have uh, double locks on our squad, sir. That's, that's state law. That they're double locked. So, Donnie, you talk about far as getting access into the admin section of the, the building? <laughs> no, I'm, I, I, I know when they go out sometimes, the, the doors are open. But they still wouldn't Not be able call. to get into your your area there right where your offices and all that yeah, they can, they can. They can. Mm -hmm. actually there's a third door this is going yeah, to, is this going to cover that that, that was the additional uh, estimate on item two that would cover two of the three doors i just realized there was a third door that in the main hallway in the front yeah. corridor yeah service well i think what you got them there it'd probably be cheaper to go with both of them it's roughly 20 if he has to come I back it's 2500 dollars a door so it's a little cheaper if he money, does right? it We have a contract with this company. Is that is that the deal? Yeah, that's who's doing all our Lykeheim work, so it's all all the same. We're knocking out that fee too. Will they refob it? We can refob it here. Yeah, it's all done in house though. Get that fee out. And the biggest complaint that we've had in the past again is just availability of the 
the person to be able to respond. I know Johnny's had problems in the past, and this office has had, City Hall has had problems. You call me, we'll show up two weeks later. <coughs> This way we do it right now. I think the police department's next on the list. Any more from board? So you need a motion to do item one and item two? I would, I would so move to make that motion while they're there to get it all knocked out. Item one and item two. A second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All against? Ayes have it. Uh, old business, Jackie Stutz, sales statement will work. Um, at the last meeting, I talked to you guys about this statement of work, this company coming in and checking over our cell phone bills. And uh, it's a two-year contract because most cell phone contracts, whether they're with me or the city or whoever, are a two-year contract. Um, I forgot what your other question was. Let's see. Yeah, was I, I, mine was particularly due to the, the fact that they said it would take them 30 days to <coughs> to give us a, a quote of what we're going to save. And then, you know, so pretty much they've come in and, and did us a service, and it's going to take them a month to do it, but yet we're going to pay them, you know, for the rest of the year and then again the following year. According to John Johnson, I was asking, but he says they're going to continue to monitor those cost needs um, and changes and charges. How I much guess. do they charge us a year? I don't know offhand. It's on the. That's something else. I don't have their proposal. And I definitely seating. think I definitely see the need for for it, but and that's, that's probably it's a form contract. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They they probably use. The didn't you got a copy, didn't you? Yeah, no, but you won't I, I need this one back. It's got my notes on it. But unless you won't be able to go an extended year with it, though, right? It's just going to be one year subject to appropriation, correct? Correct. Well, no, not on services. <clears throat> not for services. Well, and Mario, we only pay them if they find they can save us or have saved us like fifteen. But we don't pay them until they do this assessment. I don't. I didn't. I didn't look at the contract to get that out of it. I know that we're paying for phones just a basic, uh, like a basic $29 and something. And the only thing I can think of is that the, those are phones that people, well, they shouldn't have, up, if they upgraded, they shouldn't have that charge on there. I'm not sure why that charge is on there. I try not to learn too much about cell phones. I think it also involves like the police department's mobile computers. Uh, well, it's cards. utility computers. has cards for their computers. We have six or seven numbers for the SCADA system alone. They said SCADA anything, whatever. Anything with an IP address, uh, cell address. Yeah. That you're contractually bound to. Hmm. But I mean, if we're in a cell, I mean, if we're in a contract with phones, then. How they gonna, how they going to change or right. break your contract? Right. So we're in a contract depending on how long, what we have left on. In other words, if you have a two-year Verizon contract, um, if this group says, well, you got a bad deal, aren't you still locked into them for two years? Well, yeah, I'm sure we are because it, Verizon wants their money. So where is that? Where's the two years on that? Where, how far along are we on the two years? Well, but see, everybody's different because no one got their phone at the same time, Leslie. Okay. So what's two years for me right. is not two years for the mayor. It wasn't two years oh, for really? Bill Bill. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you have mine too. Yeah. We got ours. They all just, Mel just moved you all, yeah. Right. Like last? I think we've been. February? A year. Mel was the last? Was last February. Last February? Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think Aaron's got a great idea. Maybe What's that? somebody needs to come and present to us from the. Throw them in the river? Aaron, that's my idea. <laughs> No, someone from... Hey, hey, Aaron, once a month, I want to throw cell phones in the river and cut up credit cards, all of them. Well, but no, I mean, get get these people here, and, and, ex and then we can ask them all the hard questions. Okay. And maybe I'll think about going to Stifen. They have a certain amount of money, you get your own phone, you pay your own bills, everything. Then we'll sit have some a lot of cities do that. Cities and towns, of course. Jackie, can you get us? A, can you get us what what the cost of is annually on the cell phones? 
Well, last year we spent a couple hundred thousand dollars. A couple hundred thousand? Yeah. Like last 200, year? Is that yeah. What you said? I can find out and let you yeah. know. I mean, when we bring this discussion back. So you want them? You want them to come to the next meeting? Yes. We'll okay. I mean, you yeah. guys are the ones. <laughs> yeah, <talk laughs> so John, that. John, John Johnson. He, back he explained yeah. a little more. Well, about John called today and wanted to know if I needed him to be here, and I said I didn't think so. So many minutes in it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think there's still a lot of two hundred thousand dollars to take a stipend. You cut that down. Well, I know. Yeah. There's really no I know. numbers in there either. And we don't have to no, mess. Well, explain. right, and just sign it for two years and then what? If it takes them 30 days, I'm going to give the cell phone companies your name and number. Jackie, yeah. What's the name of the company? Oh, it's a Spectrum. S P E C T R U M. Uh, entertain a motion. Uh, have them come present. Yeah. yeah. So move. Second. 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 All in favor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice Not a problem. Okay. I will email them tomorrow. Because it says on this one note, excuse me, after two years, it's they charge five dollars a device. They charge five years. They charge us or five dollars a device for each phone year. they check on. Wow. Yeah. So, um, can you amend your motion to say that we table it until until they come? Make an amendment to your motion. Yes, I move to addition. Second. <coughs> All in favor. No. Thank you. Okay. They forgot to put the recycling bins on the um, Well, then that we don't talk about it. Uh -huh. Remember? <laughs> I got Brad here. You guys want to talk about it or what? I was gonna. I was gonna ask about the status of them again. Okay, we got Brad Massey here about it. Over in the corner, your honor. What? what? Mike, Carl, hey. Mike. So I have a question. His hand up. I think it was Carl. Uh, no, I was just gonna say, give you what the de the dates are for it. It should be advertised next Tuesday, and it'll be ready to be opened and awarded on Monday, July twenty first. Oh, these are these are tubs. Have you given that to me to advertise? Not yet. It's uh, you'll get it. Thursday. I don't want to see it tomorrow morning. No, you won't see it tomorrow. It's okay. next Tuesday. Awarded at the that's second Friday. meeting in July. Yes, that would be Friday. But that's for the trailer only. It's not the yeah. that's right. The, that's for the. I know Aaron asked about that. I believe the last meeting. Yeah, and we've now got the the date date set on that. Okay. So Mike's here about the tubs. The only thing I've got on the tubs is uh. I've got a quote here from uh, Rarick Pacific, which is where we buy our garbage cans from. No one else makes them? From where? Rarick Pacific. R-E-H-R-I-G Pacific. Uh, they're, a long time ago. Yeah, I've got a quote here for $6.75 a piece. Oh. Uh, a quantity of 2500 but I need to know how to go about ordering the quantity. Do we want to advertise of... Uh, the citizens want to join, or do we give them to the citizens, or what? In other words, you want to see if we want to pay for them, or right? Or we're or, or going to give them to them, or should we have a call in of who wants to do it? Well, we can advertise for that for them to yeah. sign up for. It. Uh, what's the board's pleasure on the top? Probably need to get a quote, <coughs> yeah. Your Honor. It's gonna get two more. more quotes. Right. I've got one here. Like I said, it's for an 18 gallon Kelly Green, uh, white with the city logo, uh, 2,500 for 675 a piece, total of 16,875. One time artwork fee of $300, uh, $900 freight. They will be coming from the Wisconsin facility. Uh, grand total of 18,075 bucks. And that's that, you said 18 gallon. Yes, 18 what, gallon. What are you going to be able to put in these, like paper, plastic, or what? Well, that's what we need to know. If if you're, each resident's going to get three, are you going to buy three, or how we want to do I've it? In other communities, they, they do two, and they'll mix them. Right. Like they'll have paper and plastic goods and one and glass. I guess it depends on how the trailer is going to be set up. If it's set up like Green Dills is where, you know what I mean, you have your metal cans, your aluminum cans. I mean, you pretty much split it Green up yourself. We're, we're doing... Yeah, identical yeah. to what Dearborn County does because that's where we're taking everything. Everything we're, everything we're going to do is be compatible with them. I mean, we're not going to take them nothing that they can't process. Okay. And then the person picking it up is going to take it, put right. it up in, it's going to go to. Well, um, but you still need to get two more quotes. Right. Okay. Okay, you get the quotes, but what's the pleasure of the board? Are you going to give it to the residents? You're going to make it Yeah, the board one? needs to so, make So it you're going to need one bin for each item? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, say right. you're, you're going to do, what can you do? Plastic, paper, 
You can do paper, plastic, cans, and mixed paper. Okay. And cardboard. Okay. And one glass. container. And glass. <laughs> so yeah. you're talking about if someone wants to have one for each of them, you need six containers. That or do yeah. three and do three. And three. And, oh, yeah, because they're going to go through them and put them what bin they're going to And you, you can mix them? Yeah, because they'll be a sorter. Okay. They're okay. right. assigning sorts. If you take an LRA person, maybe they'll have two containers at both. You do just different Brad, where are you going to take this when it's full? Different County. Recycling Center. Recycling Center. Out, out, out on Leggy Lane. We're not going to make no money on that. No. You won't make that much on it anyway. No. We were losing money with the cardboard in the first place. Well, they're going to make money off of it. Why don't we just have one container? I've seen Greendale's. That three containers is a pain in the... Why don't we just do glass yeah, or one day... Cardboard one day, paper one day. That's a pain. That kind of thing. Let them Instead separate it. That tie up men do every day. You, we do it the first and third Wednesday of every month now. We do it on the Wednesdays where we don't have much garbage. If, you're, if your garbage is picked up on Monday and Thursday, you're the first Wednesday. Uh, Tuesdays and Fridays is the third Wednesday of the month. I think starting out, that'd be all right. We'll see how it goes. If more people comes on board, then we might have to change what we're doing. Right, because I don't want to put an order in for 2,500 boxes and only... 40 people do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what, and as far as the, the number, maybe you can give the first one for free, and then after that, you have to pay the, the cost that it cost the city. That's a good idea. That's so, not bad on it. Right. started, that'd be a good way to do it. Yeah. Because I know a quote from Rubbermaid was $18 a box. And I told them that. Is that the only quantity they'll give you? Can you have them? No, I can get any quantity I want. At like, that our, price. like our garbage cans are oh, yeah. minimum quantity of 100, so. Uh, so was there a price break based on the by quantity? quantity? Yeah, I'd say if you went larger, you'd probably get you probably get five thousand of them for maybe four bucks a piece. We're not gonna oh well, yeah, no. but you would probably want to go less than that at first, right? Just to make sure, right? Because that's what I said. I don't want to order twenty five hundred of them and only forty people do it. Right. right. I think you're gonna see more than that. There's a lot of people it's been asking. Yeah, people people ask me about it all the time. It's but amazing like, how much your trash goes down too. Right, like I said, if your if your garbage is Monday and Thursday, you're the first Wednesday. Tuesdays and Fridays is the third Wednesday. Garbage out. What this is going to do is going to save us money going. We're paying to get rid of the trash at the dumping station. So if we if we give them away, would you send a notice out like with the utilities to find out, or give them instructions and directions how to pick and where to pick up? Right, at? We're going to send letters out same way with the directions on the uh, trash containers. We just were, we're trying to get everything together before we right. presented it. So, like she said, it really cuts down on your your trash. Oh, the, the does, amount of we we might be able to cut back a day later down the road. We get enough people. It'll save my, us money. Yeah. My garbage well. man asked me, well, "How come you never have any trash?" I'm like, "Well, because we well, recycle I, I been everything." Been recycled for Twenty years. <laughs> Harry, you want to make a motion? The first one to free and do, do, one do we, um, Yeah. How many are we going to order? And um, I'll do that motion first. Um, to get it started, I make a motion to um, allow the residents of Lawrenceburg to get their first recycling bin for free, and after that, pay the the cost of the unit. Second. All favor. Aye. 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 All against. Aye. 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 Aaron, is that is that all the recycles in the one, right? Yeah, that's what he said. That they'll sort them. Go God, they'll they'll sort it. Works better. He sorts it now as we do it. So everybody, I mean, everybody bundles their paper and puts their bags and plastic bags and cans in a bag and glass in a box so I mean it's not all dumped into one thing yeah, I think if you got one container and you're putting it all in it let them separate it right. I think the program would get we'll all separate on we'll separate it per, we'll per container a tub it goes in Well, why don't you? Don't do why don't? Why doesn't the board just get? You know, if you want to go to a thousand or fifteen hundred and twenty-five hundred and maybe five thousand, those three quantities, and you can get the quotes for each one. Okay. I mean that. I mean, how many? How many you want me to get quoted at? Fifteen hundred and thousand. I'd say fifteen hundred off. Of, start out with. But they may give you a better price for twenty-five hundred right. or right. five thousand. So. Well, you you always have the three hundred dollars. Uh, one-time artwork fee with everybody. I mean, it's just a stamp, but... What's the board's pleasure on this? Sounds good. Get some quotes. Bring some nice quotes. Okay. Thank you. Mike, yours goes out. It'll be advertised July 1st. Good. They're going to be in what time? Also, it'll be a second meeting, right? Yeah. Well, uh, they'll have to be in... At, they'll have to be in... Um, by 4 o'clock 
on July 20. I'll give everybody the three day 21st, I believe. You should do it by, I would, I don't know. I've been putting everything at noon. Bingo. Anything that I've done as far as like say that it only gives, because that only gives the clerk's office a half an hour. You know what I mean? If you do it at noon, then they have the afternoon to get everything together and get it to you. We can do that. What's he doing? Okay. Any more on recycling? The review and discuss claims and board approval. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Who made motion. the motion? Bill Bill? I'm just, okay, thank you. Motion yeah. adjourned. Like Second. <laughs> Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. I just take it across the street. That school has that paper thing, that dumpster for paper. Oh, yeah. I just take it there and dump it. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. Man. That's going to help. <laughs> I hope not. There isn't much, but. I mean, all that stuff shouldn't take very long. I mean, you guys, you guys are going to be one of the best in the state. I like this part the best so far. You're doing a good job over here. You're doing a good job. That's what I was trying to shag out of here. No. 40 by 40 by 30. So far, so good. The back for the cardboard there is the six in the front. Hey, figure. And then I can go over this. He's, good, he's going. I know that says three. He's paying. Yeah. But I was thinking. Mm -hmm. How you doing? Yeah, that's four more. Yeah, that's four that's more. That's going eight. Right. We go, we go six. That's what we ordered. Now we need two more here. And then four in the back. You know, or Mario. The room. This way. Right. All right. right. All right. Hey, just me up. And what, what I'll do is when I get Thank this put together, yeah. I'll get a hold of the other. Maybe not tomorrow, but Wednesday. We'll see. There's nobody else that I does, that sells these. Jackie, nobody else besides Boundtree that sells these. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 Of the equipment. That's right. If he's going to use supplies. He's talking about. I'm not using supplies. Last day is about to be made. Yeah. 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 Y
Roxanne, okay. you can okay. see that are shot. See what you can find, but then I would ask them if, um, you know, are you the only supplier to this in the United States? If they are the only supplier. Okay. Right. Okay. Nothing on <laughs> oh, uh, women I'm magazines. I bet I didn't well, get it told. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> It's just, yeah, it's just with a, with a bidding oh, yeah. I got a requirements I for procurement. It's not my fault. If I ain't Yeah, we are. Yeah, I ain't gonna kiss you, I can tell you that right now. Why? Hey, Bobby, if somebody's dying, they're not going to care who gives them out to them. All right. I was way back. Yeah, I don't know. 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 Jane Pope, present. Aaron Cook, here. Bill Bruner, here. J.R. Holcraft, oh, here. Leslie Votaw, here. Mel Davis, here. Mayor Carr, here. and myself. Any announcements? Mayor, I don't have an announcement, but I do have a comment to Mel. Um, on the corner of Arch and Tate, the street light on the right hand side coming from 50 closest to the mayor's mom's house goes on and off on and off okay. my mom don't live on 50. no oh, on arch street, street. Eight oh. arch and tate okay huh. now you look at that yep got it hmm. on the right hand side coming from 50. coming down yeah okay. Some birds. i see i hope she didn't move any. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Any more announcements? Yeah. Approved minutes previous meeting? So we have. Your Go Honor, ahead. we also need to approve not just um, the previous meeting, but also the prior meeting, because the only thing I think, Jane, what you brought up last time is we um, approved the minutes for the special meeting, but not for the regular meeting. So mm -hmm. whoever does approve that, just make sure you're approving both 519 and now, I believe it's 519. That's, what, that's the one that wasn't approved yet. Right. My, May 19th. When I did your motion? Yeah, I'll make a motion to approve the utility board meetings from May 19th and June 2nd of 2014. Your second? Thank you. Second. All in favor? Uh, Aye. All against? Uh, committee reports. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, in, the, uh, in your packet, you have copies of the... Uh, uh, 2014 budgets um, and then on the back section of that you have a copy of the budget versus actual report and that shows the losses that we've incurred up to the end of April <coughs> which is a total of four hundred ninety thousand two hundred ninety nine dollars if you all have any questions um, you can give me a call tomorrow and I'll do my best to explain it to you. Uh, today we had a meeting with the uh, Proximo officials, <coughs> excuse me, regarding the force main that crosses Front Street. Uh, we have agreed to allow them to use their uh, impound lot until the uh, 1st of July so they can get their um, record number of cases out the door so that um, project will be delayed until the 1st of July uh, while I was in uh, in a meeting 
Uh, the s state of Utah invited me to speak to their state association on August the 18th. Uh, they will reimburse the city of Lawrenceburg for expenses. We had our annual uh, required annual inspection of our <coughs> trucks. We had one truck that failed the dielectric test. Uh, I'm going to get that truck retested um, by a different company. So that concludes my report. Thank you, Mel. New business. I have none. Old business. Um, the only thing I have, Your Honor, as far as um, there was something about utilities, wasn't there? Let me see here. Let me make sure. Um, the question that Mr. Lawrence had at the last meeting, whether or not on the arbitration issue, um, spoke with an outside counsel. They said that basically counsel and the Board of Works have recognized the union and they have executed a contract. And that contract, just like any other contract, has clear arbitration terms, um, which dictate that the mayor, the supervisor of the employee, and the HR director are who is attending those arbitrations. So that's not the utility board. <coughs> the utility no. board made the decision, not council. No, what, I, what I'm saying is, as far as. Um, the contract is governs the utility workers as well correct correct but the utility board was the one that made the decision and we were not represented in the arbitration hearing uh, well I mean as far as the city as far as the city went they didn't go in there and say well at any rate if you need transcripts of it they weren't it they're not they weren't going to be able to go in there and say okay you're right <laughs> Otherwise, there would be no argument. There would be no arbitration. So, do you have a statute? As state? far as as far as the statute goes, no. It's it's according to our union contract, and th there's binding arbitra arbitration terms um, for every employee that's under that contract. So that just like a contract, if you bought something and you have a binding arbitration clause in there, you have to go through arbitration before you can file suit. Um, well, I've been advised by an attorney that we should have been represented, to, and um, I guess I will consult him again and come up. Well, do you Mr. Have a Mr. Lawrence said you had to prove it by law, not by union contract, because state law supersedes union contract. Not as far as the arbitration procedure. That's what I'm getting at. The arbitration procedure is set for in the union contract. As far as I know, there is no state law that ha that sets forth arbitration procedure in a union contract, other than the union contract itself. So, if you have um, if you have a statute that that is encounter you know contradicts that, then you need to let me know. But like I said, I hadn't found anything and talked to outside counsel, and they couldn't find anything. Okay, I'll find out what I can. Thank you. Thank you. All <coughs> business. Uh, we have to approve the utility board work session minutes for June 12, 2014. That's what I'm here. I make a motion to approve the June 12, 2014 utility board work session minutes. Second. Second. What was the date of the work June session? June 12, then. June 12. Utility board work session. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Uh, All against? Aye. Uh, okay, review and discuss claims board approval. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Motion adjourned. So moved. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I want to move uh, Mr. Hutchinson up. He has a meeting he has to go to. To uh, go ahead, come on. Go ahead. You want to start? Say AR forgiveness loan, Claire Thomas. Thank you very much for letting me come in. Um, my mother, Claire Jane Thomas, passed January the fourth. She had had one of these ARA loans. 
Uh, I came down to talk with someone in the city about two weeks ago, and everybody, I guess, was out of town, so forth and so on. And then I was sent down to Botar's office to speak with a Leslie. In the process of that time, I went ahead and called Debbie Lilly myself. And I was informed by Miss Lilly with the circumstances that this loan is forgiven. The grant was forgiven. And I'm coming down to see if I can get the approval of a forgiven for my mother on this loan. Anything more? Um, <coughs> Mr. Hutcherson, I mean, we did let you know that as far as the lien would carry with the property, and that's why you're asking, correct? More or less, right. yes. Because as, as an heir to any of her estate, you're not liable on, on that, but it does carry a lien on the property, correct? Correct. Okay. Is that what your understanding is? Oh, God, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, so just to be sure, she didn't make any type of payments on this? or she? No, ma'am. There was no payments to be made. Okay. I mean, that's not how the contract reads, and, and Jane did um, explain to me the beginning. Yeah, and I, that's where I got dumbfounded, considering the fact that, uh, that there was no payments made and the fact that Mrs. Uh, Lilly told me that since she had been there for one year, with the uh, contract that it's down to four thousand and thirty seven dollars okay okay I've, I've discussed this in link with Deb Lilly I mentioned it to our attorney Mrs. Votal and I also spoke to Mr. Hutcherson and um, I'd like to make a motion that we remove the lien against Clara Thomas house so that the state can be settled with the understanding that Derry was the sole inheritant of the house and that he remained there until the contract be completed with an agreement between the city of Lawrenceburg and himself that he just remained living there till 2018 January and that he will let the city know on a yearly basis that he has homeowners insurance. So that's taking the lien off, but requiring him to stay there <clears throat> and then provide insurance. So we'd have to do a release of a lien, um, which would be forgiving or any remaining portion. Correct. Anything on the board? Why can't we just forgive it as is without a, making a man stay there five years or something, pass something down the road? Well, Jr. thought about that, and I've discussed it with some other council people, and um, we we don't want to see other people coming in. You know, four or five kids might inherit their parents' property, and the lien automatically drop. If we do it for one, we'll do it for all. Uh, the property could be sold at a profit, divided. Derry has made a commitment to stay there. His, that's why his mother... Uh, gave it to him because she knew he has to make it a commitment to stay there. Who's to say the next son or daughter that inherits the property will stay there? And if we for totally forgive his lien without any stipulations, we would have what we do for one, we should do for all. You go with this, Mr. Uh, again, I'm just stating the fact that uh, I don't feel that we should go with that amendment and the reason why I'm saying this is because when my mother left that house for me I plan on staying there with her legacy I appreciate the fact that you did give her the ARA loan but uh, I don't feel that there should be any means of me being obligated have a motion something in there say if he does move within five years it oh that's all I'm asking for to begin with it's already in the motion mm -hmm. can you read the motion back um, that we were the city removed the lien from uh, from the Claire Thomas house property so that the estate can be settled and the dairy remain there until the contract is settled, which is January of 2018. Is that right, Jane? Uh, you have to mention contract, that he just remained there till okay. 2018. Okay. And pro provide proof. Yeah, proof, I'm sorry, proof of insurance. 
group of insurance. Well, not to interrupt, but may I add, that will be through UCB, because that's where I got the insurance. It's combined in with the loan, which is escrow, so payments are in with the loan. That'd be fine. Yes. Um, you're a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. All against? Aye, aye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, Barry, what's yes. the phone number for you, or if you want to give it to me? Uh, sure, after the meeting, no problem. Uh, Just yeah, I know you're in a hurry. 812-391-3674. We'll send, we'll send you a few pizzas later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sorry, one other thing. Just the, the address. What's the address? 428 Elm. Okay, yeah. thanks. Okay. Thanks. Lance Hensley, wave fees for girls' softball pool party. No show? He's not here. Okay. Dr. Bryce Robinson, UC Research Study. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for uh, the time to talk about the study. Um, I'm going to circulate a sign-in sheet. This is by no means obligating anybody to be in any research project. And I'll explain a little bit what we're doing and, and why we got to... So my name is Bryce Robinson. I'm one of the trauma surgeons at University Hospital. Um, so what we're doing and planning to do with 10 other uh, institutions throughout the country is to provide traumatically brain injured patients before they come to the hospital. So this is pre-hospital TXA, which is trans eczemic acid. Tra TXA has been commonly used in Europe for women for heavy periods. It's a very safe drug. And we're looking to give this drug in the pre-hospital environment to slow down bleeding to prevent more bleeding of moderate to severe brain injured patients. Unfortunately in this day and age if you have a severe brain injury there's not a lot I can do for you except for comfort, some surgery. It's really trying to get on top of this problem early in the course of care. We're going to provide the drug in a blinded fashion on the helicopter. The reason why I'm sitting here to you is because most of the helicopter runs that come in our community come from your area. They also from, come from Claremont County on the east side of town and the south side in Kentucky. So for us, you're in our catchment area for this drug. The FDA requires that I come and talk to different communities about the drug so that people have questions they can directly ask me. I have a bunch of information I'm going to leave on the back table. I also have some mints and some pens and some bags too. <laughs> But the bottom line is the FDA requires me to provide the information to community because if you get injured, you can't consent to the trial. You're too sick. So we have to go out to the community and make sure everybody's on the same page. Does anybody have any questions about the science or how we're going to do it? So how would you get the consent? Would you have to get that from the next of kin? So it's delayed consent for a particular patient. So in your case, let's say you get injured and you're so sick, I would give, I would randomize you in the trial. And then uh, three to four days later, whenever your next of kin comes in, we would consent you. If your family says, nope, we don't want her in the trial, we would remove all the data from that particular patient. It's pretty common. We've done this before for blood trials in Cincinnati. It's just that you guys didn't see it because most of our blood trials are for inner city communities. Uh, now we're going outside the 275 ring because of head injuries and the helicopter and that sort of thing. Somebody else had a question? No. This is fun. This is science. So you can ask anything. I'm your local trauma surgeon. <laughs> I have a comment, Your Honor. Uh, about six years ago, my sister suffered a major aneurysm. And had this been available at that point in time, she would not be hindered today with her walking and her ability to speak. Yeah. It's sad. In 2014, unfortunately, there's not a lot of things I can do as a trauma surgeon to um, slow down the progression of injury. We're hoping that this safe drug that clots blood, again, it's already approved in Europe. The military is using it. There are some squads in the community that are using TXA. Um, but unfortunately, in this day and age, we don't know what's the right dose. We don't know over what time frame it should be given, and I think we just need to answer some of those questions for this unique patient population. I'd also like to thank your staff at UC. You saved my sister's life. In uh, 2008, they found an aneurysm oh, wow. before it burst. Uh, she got transported into UCA, UC, I'm sorry, and had uh, major brain surgery, and um, she's fine. She's perfectly yeah, fine. Th there's no question. I mean, 
we all have a stake in this game. I, I live in Cincinnati. My family lives in Cincinnati. We all, we all, whether whether you want to come downtown or not, you're going to come to me if you get hurt. Well, the doctor that did the surgery is the one that created and perfected the surgery. Oh, because her aneurysm was actually on her brain stem. Sure. So how will this how will this proceed? I mean, if, if so, how does it go? Yeah. So what? Well, so this is this is a very this is a good good question. Uh, so what I did, all we already did was the ten, the ten groups have created a protocol, and the protocol is going to each individual universities. It's called uh, institutional review board. That's a group of people like yourself that look at studies and say yes, we like this part. No, we don't like that part. Can you fix it? So I have to go to the UC's IRB, and one of the things they're going to want me to see is that I have gone to the communities in which we think the brain injured patients are going to come from and say, have you provided information to the community? Again, on this packet, there's a whole bunch of information. I'll leave it in the back, but there's an opt-out number. So if you're absolutely like, I'm not participating in this study, that's okay too. Mm -hmm. You got the number, the community has the number, they can call my research office, and if you come into my hospital and you're on my list, that you're on my no list, you're not gonna get it. Okay, so what I will do in probably 30 days is present all of my signatures from the various community meetings. I did Taste of Cincinnati. I did some flea markets. Would you be surprised what we're doing? But I have to get to the communities in which the brain injured patients are coming from. And so they'll review what my protocol is, the signatures, and they and I have no idea what they're going to look at, but they just want to prove that I've, I've done due diligence to talk to different communities. These are great questions. Absolutely. This again, I'm your local trauma surgeon. I'll answer Fantastic. anything. Fantastic. I have a vested interest in it because I have a son that also I didn't brain injury. Oh, yeah. Um, but anyhow, not in this area. So, is it going to be a standard of care? I mean, you'll every patient that comes from the different areas will participate. It's not like a double blind. It's administered. So let's talk. So let's talk about what we're doing now, mm -hmm. and we'll talk about what the study I implies. So right now, on my helicopter, there's already TXA. And there's one gram of TXA. I will tell you that the military uses two grams of TXA. Now, the problem with any study like this is that we need an incredible number of patients. Not one institution can do it alone. We need 1,000 patients. Right. They're looking for me to get about 250 patients. That's a lot on my helicopter. We have a ski slope. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> Trust me, I know you do. People get hurt all the time. Yeah, these little things go off all the time in the wintertime. Yeah, I know it. Um, <laughs> So that's, that's, I don't want to say it's the problem, but it's just the reality of this is a good drug, it's a safe drug, people are already using it. There are squads that call me up and say, hey, what do I do with TXA? And I say, well, it's a good drug. I'm not sure yet for brain injury. For bleeding, different story. But for brain injury, we're not sure. So we're going to reserve the drug for only severe and moderate brain injuries. Okay? And so again, I, the study has three arms. They're, it's a it's a randomized prospective randomized control trial, which means the the helicopter crew will help the help their souls. They're gonna blind the patient. They open a packet. They get, they're given a blinded drug. It's gonna be one of three arms: one gram, two grams, or salt water placebo. Yeah, that's the best way to do a study. It's the most expensive way, but it's the best way to do a study. And unfortunately, for studies like this, pre-hospital studies, they're really hard to do. For this very reason, for consent, but also to standardize things. There's so many things happening in the pre-hospital environment. These guys are chugging down the road. There's diesel fumes going everywhere. They're doing CPR. How can you do science that? It's really hard to do. I mean, imagine air care with a little tiny helicopter doing this stuff. So again, this, this is a tough study, but I, it really needs to be answered. The DOD, is, the Department of Defense is paying for this work, again, from some of the work in Afghanistan, in Bagram, in Iraq. So they, they really want to answer this question because the wounded soldiers really have this problem and they don't know what the right answer is. Any other questions? I really appreciate your signatures. By no means by signing this, this means you're in the study. It just means that I've talked to you, we've answered your questions, and that I've proven that I've, I've been here. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much. And I'll sit in the back and wait for the signatures to come back. Thank you for what you do. Oh, thank you. Can we volunteer Carl to be part of? You <laughs> <laughs> need a patient? Sure, I'll give you my business card. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pat Crowder, permission to use Todd Creech Park area for Youth Fest. I know. Um, no, I'll make it up or something. 
guess this Saturday is our Youth Fest, and uh, I passed out some flyers about all the activities we have. So it, it should be a very successful day. Um, we do, ha and of course it's all free to the young people here. And um, we do have a group that we'd like to bring in, but um, it's, it's a group called Team Zoom. And it's a canine group, and they are trained, and they do tricks, but they have to work on grass. Uh, the only, and they have specific requirements. It has to be 20 yards by 20 yards. And I think the only grassy area down here that we found was at the ballpark down at Todd Creech Park. I have spoken to Linda. She said nobody is using those fields this Saturday. And so we wanted to know if we could have permission uh, to use the field for this team Zoom demonstration. Thank you, board. I'm making a motion to allow Youth Fest to use the Todd Creech Park um, baseball field. Do you have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, and then one more thing, we wanted to make sure uh, if it's okay, we are going to have in July, uh, July 18th, and I believe the other date is August 15th, some family film nights. We did one of those last year up on the parking garage. Uh, we'd like to do them this summer um, at the Music on the River uh, location, if that's okay with, with all of you. Instead of the instead of the parking garage, you mean? Yes, okay. that last year that made me very nervous. Um, well, we did it because there were going to be fireworks up right. there, but I spent the night watching the edges because those little kids were all over the place mm -hmm. and um, much much safer uh, down on this parking lot. Hopefully, better weather when it's outside. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> hopefully, and of course, this is another free family event. What's the board's pleasure? Make a motion. motion. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank, you, Thank you very much. And if you have an opportunity, bring your young people down <coughs> on Saturday. <coughs> it's going to be very good. Thank you. Thank Special you. Tees, Manchester Rowdies 4-H. Yes. Thank you for allowing me to um, ask about using the pool for the Manchester Rowdies as well for a discounted rate, please. Um, the Manchester Rowdies are a 4-H youth group. We just completed our 4-H fair last week. My group has 70, I think 76 kids in it. And every year at the end of the 4-H um, fair, going into the month of July, we try to use the Pat O'Neill pool as a um, special awards, you know, a fun activity for them. I have a very hard working group. We are big in the community service area. Actually the week before the fair, I'm not sure why we chose to do it the week before the fair. They were trying to get ready but we did like the Hamline. We prepared the meal at the Hamline Church for the High Hope um, Cafe and so we're very community minded as well but we're asking that we be able to use the pool and the splash park at a greatly reduced rate. I've spoken with D already. We have um, Monday, July the 14th in mind and it would be for one of the parties where it's just the two hour um, pool and splash party and I'd like to know if we may use it for a discounted rate or a greatly discounted rate. Thank you, did you did you last year did you guys use the pool? We did. We did. We came before the council. Um, we've used it for I don't know, like way back before it was even remodeled. I couldn't even tell you how many years. And obviously, all the beginning years we paid at the, you know, whatever that rate was. And then a number of years ago when it was remodeled, the cost went to a much more staggering cost for us to be able to, to use it. And so two years before we used it and I think paid like the $200 of it. And then last year we, became, we came before the council and asked if we could use it. And it was actually discounted entirely last year. And if, you know, we're not looking for it to be that full amount, it's just whatever they can do rather than the, if possible, than the full cost. Do you know how many guards they ha you have to have? Um, I do not know how many guards. I know it's like the lowest number. We do the zero to 75 people because not all of our kids come. I mean, it's a low and we actually have like a so much higher ratio of parents as it is. I mean, a lot of parents come and hang out and discuss fair issues and all that kind of stuff. board mm. make a motion to waive the fees and let them have it free second all favor aye, aye. Okay. great thank you guys so much for, for supporting our youth we try very hard to encourage them to 
become part of the community as well and we appreciate that I, I have one question about the pool um, it's not on the agenda but um, I got a text during this meeting I guess them um, at the pool the they want to see if they can give a military discount yeah if you guys want to discuss that I, I, I text back that's not on the agenda but I'd bring it up at this at this point that uh, be parks that probably should be parks have they had many requests Aaron <coughs> I don't know well Maybe I think that would be the meeting. Okay. Present that. That way we'll get it. Okay. Leslie vote to <coughs> County Grant Application Hollywood. Gap funding proposals. That's it. Uh, in your packet there is there are two documents. Uh, last meeting of the redevelopment, they uh, did sponsor the business name is actually the Lawrenceburg Event Center. It is uh, Uh, you're doing business as the Lawrenceburg Event Center, is that correct, Mr. George? That is. Okay. Um, they did uh, approve a sponsorship of the grant for $3.5 million to go towards the gap in the funding, which is the second LSC project gap list. Um, both Mr. George um, and Mr. Jensen are here to answer any questions. That they may you guys may have um, tonight we're asking for an approval but contingent upon the 10 county grant passing it which we couldn't have that meeting until tomorrow night <coughs> so are you on are you on the um, June 18th uh, gap list it's just at the bottom middle yes okay mm -hmm. Board have any questions? So this came from redevelopment. Which one? The yeah, the, the application went in front of the redevelopment, and they did agree to. They voted to sponsor um, the Lawrence Bergman Center to, uh, you know, to receive this grant. Um, and that was passed. I don't know what the count was on. I think it was unanimous, wasn't it? I believe so. Or was that two? Three to two, I'm not sure. Do you remember? Oh, you weren't there. At any rate, um, in order for a private company to get any kind of grant money, as you know, the, the redevelopment has to sponsor them. That for that has happened. It's coming to you all, and normally, I you know, it, it would be the other way around. But with um, the project could could cease to operate by when. Mr. Jensen um, and, and work would stop down there um, in three weeks so we're trying to get everything we need to get so there is no delay further delay um, at the event center so. I'll make a motion to forward this on to the 10 county grant program with a favorable from City Council a second is that what we need Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All against? Ayes up. Um, now the only other thing, um, the, the uh, parties have gone back and forth and we've met many times and um, I do want to thank Mr. George for being, I mean he's, he's, we've talked on the phone after hours and uh, I think he even offered on a Saturday one time so um, they are working hard to try to get this resolved um, we have a tentative agreement and I just wanted to review those with you that agreement should come back in front of you on the 7th um, but it does include um, if the grant is awarded by the 10 county grant that would go towards it um, and the loan that's currently um, that Penn National currently has uh, for $14 million, they would basically add on to their loan um, up to $1.1 million. So the total gap, when we figure the numbers when we were sitting back there, should be alleviated by that with this uh, extended general conditions of the subcontractors are in the process of being um, settled. So 
we think the number is going to be close to the 1.1. Um, in exchange, they have agreed to, to add that to their loan to um, at a diff at an interest rate would change from the 4% now to make it a payment that would be the same as if they were at the 14 million, um, if, if that makes sense, the 14 million, so, so that the interest rate would go down to three to 3.5 range and they'd still essentially be paying the same amount of payment that they would have been under their original agreement. Um, they are ensuring that during, um, that they would operate it for a minimum of four years from the opening instead of two um, and then the project if the project does not yield a positive pre-tax income for four consecutive fiscal quarters then then that's when they can come back to redevelopment and discuss discuss alternative uses there is a stopgap clause in there that they want to be able to look at other options if there's a yearly loss of a million dollars um, so um, and I believe they're also agreeing that not less than 65% of the project's employees are residents of Dearborn County. <coughs> Ongoing. As you see in the, uh, the application, they have guaranteed jobs uh, in year one of 65, 72 in the second year, and 79 in the third year. So. Uh, I did talk to outside counsel. Actually, the, the gentleman who prepared the original contract, uh, the project agreement, um, had him look at it as far as all the, the provisions that would it will affect. So, um, oh, the other thing is, if they if they decide not to um, do the four years, they will owe the three point five million dollars back. So, I think. Tentatively, all parties are in agreement with that. We are working um, to get this to to Hollywood so that their legal can can review it. And like I said, we should have it back to you for the July seventh meeting. Any questions? I just like to thank everybody that was involved in the negotiations and the talks, so we we can proceed with the event center. The last thing I have, Mayor, is the nepotism <coughs> policy forms. Those were um, in your packets. Uh, I believe Aaron, Bill, and Jane have all signed those. If you want to sign yours, JR, and get them to me. <laughs> I also have extra copies if you want those for your records. I think Jackie also did. So I signed them. Um, just, just to be sure, I want to show you. Um, just uh, There was a little confusion. This one that has 361215 at the top. Mm -hmm. That is only if there is a contract um, with someone that's a relative. Okay, um, so that's and those are specific to that contract. If something comes up, you then file this. Okay, um, the other two are just the short mm -hmm. versions here. This and I did talk to IACT, and they were okay with us going back um, to 2012 through 14. Um, once we get these to the mayor, then the mayor in January will certify the state that we're following all the nepotism laws. So, if you can get those to me, that would be great. That's it. You need the one with the relative contract too, then? No, I don't need that. Just the other two. Yeah. Yeah. The two shorter ones. Do you want some for your? You want copies for your files? Uh, I trust you. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, old business. Mike Lawrence Tort Claims is not here. We'll tell you what the next meeting. Leslie Votal, Joint Ordinance Men, reestablish the Southeast Air Port Authority. Um, I would also ask that that be tabled, Your Honor. Um. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Who made the motion? Aaron. Aaron and then Bill Bill? Okay. Thank you. Have we got cistern questions? Um, yeah, I did look into the cistern issue um, with the State Board of Accounts. Uh, and Mr. Fryman, you may want to chime in on this. Um, the the uh, building commissioner can proceed under his, his um, safe, unsafe building procedures because it does include structures as well. 
Uh, and that's 3679 if it's a nuisance or a danger. Um, if you want to tell them what you were able to find out. On the mall? On the cisterns. Oh, on the cisterns themselves. Mm -hmm. Give me your place. The best that we can come up with, we can do properties, but we have a terrible time going on personal properties for filling them in. I believe that uh, the property owners themselves would have to come and present it and then you all decide whether we make the decision as a city to do it for personal properties. To but advance the it, it, it would have to pose some kind of danger or threat, correct? Or nuisance. And I went and checked, I, I called Aaron back. I went yeah, and checked the property ones that he was talking about. One of the homeowners already filled it with um, gravel and dirt and rocks or something. So, and the other one wasn't that deep. So we got two of them already worked out. I mean that we we could work with people but they they have to come and ask okay i can't do it as a city to go to individual properties and increase the value but you could go and building. inspect it once they ask you and if it is dangerous that is something that can be and done. i gave them all alternatives how to fill it okay um the next item was marketing budget questions the, there was a question as to whether or not council can direct that marketing budget be spent for various items, and they can. Can or can? Can. Okay. From you could do it from any budget, really, if you wanted to. So. Um, and then lastly, Mayor, I don't mean to run me in here, but there are copies of letters for the revolving loan fund that are in your packets. They should have been in your packets. I didn't see them in mine. You got them? Yeah, they were. Okay. Um, those were just sent out uh, to all of the uh, loan recipients. Um, I have gotten some calls from people and wanting to know what the next step is, and I kind of told them that we, we need to have another meeting. Um, and um, I can get with all of you and see what a good date in July sometime would be to do that because uh, – uh, we were thinking maybe before the council meeting on the 21st, um, Mr. Hedden could be there then, July 21st, um, so that you can kind of make some decisions on how you want to proceed. Um, as I said, I won't go into names, but there are some that have already gone past their balloon payment and are still making their payments. Mm -hmm. um, there are some that the balloon has passed and they're not making payments. Um, there are some that still have not come to the balloon and are not and are or are not um yeah the, i've been approached by at least four different individuals and i did suggest that they write a letter to the board to let them know you know where they were on it and i can present those at the next meeting too so to see you know whether what they would propose and whether or not you guys would be okay with that so that's all i have okay i got a comment i think the letters were too nice well we didn't want it to be a collection letter um, at this point because then you'd also have to comply with the Fair Debt Practices Act so this was just kind of a um, hey we reinstituted this this program this is how much we calculate um, yeah so um, there's a fine line between a collection letter and that's the reason why that the tone one. yeah okay. the tone was yeah it's nice I any comments from the audience? Good, Tim. Thank you, Your Honor. I just wanted these guys to stay a little bit longer tonight. Um, no, the I wanted to give council an update. Um, we did have um, Hollywood held a, a wedding at the event center on Saturday evening, um, and from all accounts, from everybody that I've talked to that was there, um, it was well attended. Over 200 people were at, at the wedding. They thought the facility looked great, the service was great, everything was good. Um, there was about 50 or so people added to Bob O's tally that night after the wedding. Um, the biggest complaint that, that we heard was that no other businesses downtown were open at all. So there was no place for anybody to go um, when these 200 people spilled out at 11 o'clock after. Um, this is something we've been talking about for a while. Down the just, street there was, though. I mean, so, the brickyard, I'm sure, was um, So just, just kind of telling people that was the complaint that they heard, um, and so the city can be thinking about this as, as they move forward. Um, but other than that, the event did go off without a hitch. There was no problems with the building or the event 
present itself and everything worked great. And uh, so far, rave reviews from everybody that either attended or worked the event. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. Anybody else in the audience? Jim, that uh, job fair, July 1? I think it's July 1st. Yeah, it is. I, it's on Eagle Radio. I, I, know, I don't know if it's in the paper yet or not, but it's July 1st from 10 to 6 at um, Ivy Tech on Industrial Drive. The paper's here. Yeah, it's, it's going to be in. I think they're going to add, and I'll have a story on Thursday. If you put it in too far in advance, people forget. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. You need to get a motion to approve um. the minutes of the last council meeting, please. Right. I need a motion to approve the last council meeting minutes. Motion to approve? Yes. Second. We kind of skipped over that. Second. All in favor? Uh, aye. <laughs> Thank you. I have one that. And I have one other announcement. There is a floodplain management workshop um, tomorrow at 9.30 to 3.15 um, at the Lawrenceburg Firehouse. Um, I plan to attend and Mr. Clark plans to attend. So you all are welcome to try to attend if you want. What time is that? Did you it's say? It's from 9.30 to 3.15. Okay. Um, Thank you. But I, we will bring back any information that we have from that to to the board. So, who who are the speakers that are going to be there? I'm not sure. I, I don't know much about it other than what time it starts and where it's at. So, and it's just concerning the floodplain. Yes. Can I review and discuss claims board approval? Oh, Second. Second. All favor? Aye. Motion adjourned. So moved. Second. Second. All favor? Aye. Aye. Ah. Yeah. New record. Yeah. Erica, why did you bring me that three page? That's okay, hon. I was going to tell you earlier, and I thought you could have just brought it to Jimmy. I, I, well, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? Well, if they want what they want, just a bunch of they want a bunch of information. The first time you request that, they have them filled out. After that, just do one page. And yeah, so I don't know. I know. Okay. Yeah. Do you have? Is that my copy of that contract? Is that my copy of the contract? Or did you? Did, no, no, the contract. That, this. Mine. Is that yours? Okay, that's yours? Okay, so let me make sure.